Hi, this is Chantal from the Purring Cat Studio and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to play in my art journal. The reason is I have no inspiration on, I don't know, creating things for journals. I, I feel like I have too many pretty things and I want to do it all and I end up doing nothing. So I know I'm not the only one this happens to. I hear people talk about it all the time. And I find that the best reset button for your creativity and to get like that little kick that you need to start, you know, creating more ephemera and journals and pockets to put in journals and such is to actually sit down with your beautiful things and make an art journaling page. It really triggers all kinds of, of ideas. It sparks creativity. I know when I watch somebody do it on, on uh, YouTube, it always gets me to go sit in my studio and start crafting. So I hope this will inspire you. And it might even give you ideas to put in your own journals because, I mean, it's pretty much the same art that we transpose to other stuff. So I hope you'll join me for this creativity session. Maybe you want to craft with me. So grab your art journaling uh, book and your beautiful papers, your glues, your gouache, whatever it is that you want to craft with. And how about we meet each other on the other side of the intro? Okay, so um, this will probably be a session I do in silent mode um, because, like I said, I, I feel like I'm stuck in my creativity and chit-chatting while I'm trying to do art journaling is something difficult for me. Um, I know Marta um, from uh, Maremi Small Art does it such in a beautiful, magnificent, professional way, but she's been doing that for years. Uh, <laughs> I'm a baby in art journaling, <clears throat> so for me it takes um, concentration. However, before I start the video in silent mode, I wanted to show you, um, I started a new, I know I just posted new papers on my Etsy shop. Um, I am in love with my papers, I'm not kidding. I know it seems like I'm congratulating myself, but I am, I am, I really love them. And now I just started this new series. This is a like a little preview. I That not might not be the final um, <clears throat> look. I'm not sure. Um, it's kind of big. It's like it scares me for some reason, but at the same time, I love it. Um, that's another one, just to give you an idea of where I'm going in my new series. So I just started these two sheets and this one too but this one you won't see because i printed it on um oh my goodness um tissue paper <laughs> and because i wanted to have a like i want to work on in this journal that's my newest smaller journal and i was thinking of this but this is so big it takes the whole space and then i won't have time or space i mean to decorate anything else so <clears throat> i decided to print on this and scale it down so I'm going to take the paper off of actually since it's glued I'm not gonna rip it I'm just gonna cut this this is an old piece of cardstock that I had anyways so I use it for all kinds painting spraying stamping <laughs> there I'm just going to rip and I'm probably going to use it. I would like to this to be the center focus of my page. I like this little birdie. I don't know. I might use him. I'm not sure. Um, I got myself some clear gesso. I only had white gesso and matte medium, <clears throat> which is this. Very inexpensive at Walmart. Love, love, love it. But today I, I, I'm going to try the clear gesso. I might use white gesso also because white gesso is useful when you want to blur the borders between all the papers we're going to use. I'm also thinking that I might use some of my uh, printed on fabrics. I honestly don't know where I'm going with this and that's the beauty of it. I don't want to put any pressure on myself. I got these, um, I purchased these Tim Holtz, I don't remember the name, cards I think. They're different sizes. They're magnificent. Um, I might rip one or two. I hate that because they're so beautiful. But they're meant to use. You know, I mean, we've said it before in other videos by other people. We're afraid to use our beautiful things. And I've been sitting here since I got them Friday. 
opening the package and looking at each of them and thinking, oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. How am I ever going to use them? Oh, look. How am I going to use those? They're so beautiful. But you know what? You got to use them. Technically, I think, I'm not if I'm not mistaken, these are cards that you can put in your journals, right? So they're, they're cards to put in your journals. But, you know, you don't have to use things you know the way they were meant you're a creative person so you can use things the way you want so how about we get started wish me luck i have like i said <clears throat> zero ins inspiration i'm in a very mental blockage i'm i'm i don't know how to say it i'm not myself so i thought i would share it with you because i know i'm not the only one and together with art we can heal we can feel better and I'm not making this dramatic. We all have days where we don't feel as good as we know we usually would. And I think that's where art can come and save us, you know? So I hope that if you are in the same state of mind that I am, that you will join me. And if not, if you're just feeling happy and full of creativity, well, of course, you can still join. <laughs> so I will start the process. I just put here, if you wonder what this is, these are just my journals that I use usually tear pages of um, because otherwise this wouldn't lay flat this is a brand new journal so it's easier to work on something that is straight so how about we start right now Thank you. 